I was most definitely happy with the fact that they introduced free education. I mean, that gave all the kids an opportunity. The many roads are actually being renovated, so which is also good. Namibians, however, want to see parliamentarians working together, regardless of whatever political parties they belong to. Some are not happy with the way MPs interact in parliament, while others think the Namibian parliament is too polite and better at executing democracy and freedom of speech, comparing to other African countries. I would recommend that we work together and not shun each other in the public, in the parliament. Because at the end of the day, when you watch the parliament, you see one person going against this one and the other one against the other. Yeah, I'm not happy the way they communicate with each other. They should respect in what opinion they also have there, or what discussion they have. But still, in, in, in that way, they need to respect one another. They can't talk to one another like, uh, sorry to say it, like domestic workers. They are almost not domestic workers. Parties between parties, they, they are not good at all. The way they answer each other is in the rush way. Uh, no disrespect to South Africa, but compared to that, I think it's, uh, they discuss it in a much more appropriate manner. So. Our parliament is better than in South, Afri South Africa's parliament. It's more organized and they are more respectful towards each other. Namibians have high expectations for the year 2017. They are hoping that most issues that could not be tabled and resolved last year could at least be attended and resolved this year. Drought, climate change and economic crisis is a big concern currently. Many are also expecting the leaders to continuously conduct proper consultation with the people and make them part of the solution. Serafia Nadunya, NBC News, Ventec.